Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message. My name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. I'm so glad that you could join me this morning. Uh, we are still in Easter. We're still celebrating the season of Easter. So yes, we're going to be talking about Jesus and his resurrection. And we're going to talk about our friend, the disciple Thomas today. So get the kids, get a comfy seat and hang out with me for the next few minutes and we'll talk. Have you ever had to see something with your own two eyes before you were willing to believe it? Maybe your mom comes in and tells you that there's a puppy at home waiting for you. You might have a hard time believing that's true until you actually get home and there's actually a puppy that you can see and touch and play with, with your own eyes, hands, everything, right? The same is true for many of us. We often have to see something in order to believe in it or believe that it's true or that it actually happened. Our Bible lesson today is about just that. It's about believing what we can't see. On the evening of the first Sunday after Jesus was crucified, his disciples were all together in this locked room. They were afraid that those who had arrested and crucified Jesus would also come arrest them and put them to death as well since they were his companions. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in this locked room amongst all of these disciples. It was really hard for them to believe because they had seen that he had died and was buried. But they did see him with their own eyes. And Jesus showed them the wounds in his hands and in his side. So they knew it was him. This was proof that this was Jesus resurrected from the dead. But one of the disciples, whose name was Thomas, wasn't there with the others when Jesus appeared to them. And when he got back to, with the group and they had told Thomas what they had seen, they had seen Jesus resurrected from the dead, he didn't believe them. He himself, with his own two eyes, had seen Jesus crucified and buried in a tomb. So how could he be alive? How could he be in that locked room with them? And Thomas said, unless I see the wound in his side and put my finger in the holes where the, in the where the nails were in his hands, I will not believe it. A week later, the disciples were again in the locked room, and this time Thomas was there with them. And again, Jesus appeared to them and stood amongst all of the disciples. And Jesus saw Thomas and came up to him and said, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side where I'm wounded there. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas fell on his knees and answered Jesus, My Lord and my God. He saw him and he knew it was him. And it was true. And he believed. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. But blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now, Thomas gets a lot of <laughs> hate sometimes for doubting. We call him Doubting Thomas sometimes. But Jesus uses this as an important lesson. Yes, Thomas did have proof, but so did all the other disciples, right? But he's saying, blessed are those who won't see me in the future and still believe. That blessing extends to today. You and I have never seen Jesus with our own two eyes, right? The question is, are we going to doubt and let the fact that we haven't seen physical proof hinder our faith? Or will we let that blessing extend to us and be blessed because we believe, even though we have not seen Jesus in person? It's a big question and very important to our faith. So let's pray that we will have faith. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Dear Father, help us to believe in our heart those truths we find in your holy word, even though we have not seen them with our own eyes. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. As usual, I've got a coloring page for you. So here's today's coloring page. There's Jesus and Thomas. Uh, Jesus showing the holes in his hands where the nails were. And Thomas on his knees because he's recognizing that this is Jesus, his Lord and his God. So you can find this. Uh, linked in the video description box below or where we post this video on our website, pplc.org. 
you can download, print that off, and color that at home if you would like to do that. That's available to you. Um, don't forget to check out our online virtual worship. Those stream every Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m., but it's always recorded as it streams, so you can uh, go back later and watch it if you're not up so early. Uh, you can find that on our website along with this video, pplc.org, every Sunday morning, and on our Facebook page every Sunday morning as well. So like and follow us there, and those will just automatically be on your feed or your parents' feed. Uh, so check that out if you haven't already. Um, I think that is all I've got for you guys. Let's close in prayer together. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you for this uh, Easter season where we get to really focus in on the resurrection and what that means for us. Help us to um, not like Thomas, but uh, you learn from his example and uh, learn and know that we can have faith without seeing Jesus with our eyes because we feel him in our hearts and in our souls. We know you love us and we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I hope you guys have had a great Easter so far. Um, I will see you next time. That's all I've got for you this week. See you next time. Bye.